fishing with sticks today. It's got that nice soft tip. Setting up my second hole. That one was kind of off the main point, a little bit farther out, nine feet of water. This one, right behind that down tree. It's still a pretty steep, sloping shoreline, so I'm guessing it's gonna be about five or six feet. So all I'm doing is tying small little loop knot in the line and that sits on there we are allowed to use live minnows on the lakes around here but there's plenty of lakes where you're not allowed to use live baits so if you want to do something like this and you're not sure definitely check the regulations thought I heard a bell but I thought I felt a bit of weight there. Yeah, I got one on. Right off the bat. He must be coming up with me. Oh, he just hit it right there. Oh, I just watched him. Right under the ice. It was about a 16 inch speck. It was a really nice one. It's kind of the kiss of death when you can see him because all you want to do is set the hook when you see him eat it instead of waiting to feel for the actual weight of the fish. But that was definitely a nice one. Let's see if he's still there. See if he wants to eat again. Oh, yeah, he's still there. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> this couldn't have been the same fish. That other fish was much bigger. It's gonna give him a splash. Oh, it was the same fish. Look, he's got both minnows in his mouth. <laughs> so I thought he was bigger than that. He's a hungry bastard, but I'll let him have it. Beautiful. Minnow. Making a little hobo stew, a nice ice fishing treat. I got a couple of grouse in there that I shot back in the fall and I had them in the freezer so I figured I'd bring them ice fishing and try to make a little snack. Got some bacon, some canned potatoes, and I got a little chicken noodle soup pack we'll throw in right at the end. No idea if it's going to be good but we're going to find out. Can't be that bad, we're ice fishing. Not big. Oh, he's real small. So, this is either. Give him a bit of water. This is either a fish that was stocked and not marked on the list, which is possible, or it's also possible that the fish are reproducing in here, which is also a possibility. But he gets to go back. Playing with the babies today. It's another real small one. 
don't even think you'd be able to swallow that minnow. Big fish. Big bro. Really big. Giants actually. Oh my god. This is big. He's close. He's huge. He's over three pounds. He's peeling line like crazy. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, look at it! Just barely hooked. What an absolute giant! Giant female brook trout. Look at the colors on that fish. That is incredible. <laughs> she almost pulled my spool right down the hole. Get some pictures of that fish, buddy. <laughs> okay, we're gonna let this big girl go. Maybe someone else would be able to catch her when she's a little bit bigger. That's gotta be, what do you think that is? That's, that's over four. Four and a half, maybe pushing five. Probably my biggest rookie. I don't think I have a tape measure, so I can't measure her, but that's all right. She should be fine. She wasn't hooked deep or anything. She wasn't out for too long. It's not cold out, so. Okay, one more look. <laughs> oh, that was a good kick. There she goes. Oh boy, it does not get any better than that. That's why we busted our asses to get in here for fish like that. I knew they were in here and I was just praying we'd get one. I would have been happy with the day either way, but that's just, that's a bonkers brook trout. <laughs> not as big, but it's pretty big. It's a nice one. Whoa, 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 whoa. this is a big fish too. Whoa. This might be just as big. Oh, line slipped out of my hands. <laughs> it's huge. It's a giant. Whoa. <laughs> Not as big, but still pretty freaking huge. Look at that baby. <laughs> now this fish is hooked really deep and this will be a really good eating size fish so we're going to keep this one. But another beautiful, this fish is a lot darker, not quite as thick, still a female, probably about 20 inches, still an amazing brook trout. <laughs> oh man, what a day. 
Okay, there's always bite windows for the bigger fish and it doesn't have, doesn't, isn't necessarily early morning or late at night, low light. Sometimes it can be the middle of the day. That's why you're always best to, to just stick it out. Oh, that's amazing. Look at the yellow spot on this one. Big yellow spot. <laughs> oh man, awesome. All right, we'll get this fish on ice and get, get back out there. <laughs> Can't forget about these guys. These are our future giants. So, for a little perspective, a fish that size would take about five years to get to the size of that huge one I caught. Which is not a very long time. So it's encouraging to be seeing lots of fish like that on a lake that's very lightly pressured. You know there's uh, good potential for Four or five years in this lake for sure. Dink. Oh, he's in a snag. Pulled me into a tree. <laughs> There's that tree right there. You can see the branches sticking out. And the fish got off and that hook is firmly in a branch now. <laughs> That's it, we're packing up. I think we've uh, seen this lake at its full potential. Had a pretty incredible day. We didn't find the trail on the way in, but we found it on the way out, so hopefully we'll have an easier ride out. That might be the might be a curse for us. We might not actually have an easy time, but hopefully we do. And that, folks, is how you fish with sticks. Thanks for watching, we'll be back for more.